Sylvia hansen shirer is one of the leading researchers in the field of translation studies. It requires good organizational skills to have a big family at the same time. I can work at home or in the evenings when the kids are asleep. And in the end, it's up to me to stay in charge of my own time and my priorities. Also in her job, Hansen Schirrer has to manage and multitask. She coordinates different research projects, raises funding, supervises her PhD students and works with all kinds of different organizations. But the balancing act between work and family is not the only one that Hansen Schirrer faces. Also in her research, she combines two different areas, humanities and sciences. So, we begin now with the erhebung. Bitte in the monitor. Gucken. Hansen Schirrer investigates the translation process. To achieve her goal, she discovered an innovative approach. She utilizes the methods of cognitive science to uncover what is going on during the act of translating. With the help of the electroencephalography, or EEG, Hansen Schirrer and her team can measure the cognitive effort of their study subjects. The eye tracker tells them what the subjects are focusing on. She uses these two techniques to, for instance, improve subtitles for movies. Our eye tracking results show us the natural behavior of American natives when watching an original American movie. Um, we develop on this basis new integrated titles similar to um, text bubbles in comics and they prove to be more efficient um, in reading and gaze behavior and leave more time to the actual film scene. The eye tracker and the EEG help Hansen Schirrer find out much more about the translation process. Our hypothesis is that the borrowing of anglicisms as well as internationalisms causes less effort during the translation process. We investigate this phenomenon by triangulating EEG and eye tracking data. Nowadays, it is common practice to let a machine translate a text first and then let a human post-edit it afterwards. This poses a lot of challenges for human translators. On the basis of our key logging and eye tracking data, we investigate the effectiveness on, of machine translation, but we also investigate the typical errors and problem-solving strategies for the translator. Not only the research community is interested in the results. Daimler, SAP and Böhringer Ingelheim use machine translation for their software and manuals. That is why they have become cooperation partners in this study. Sylvia hansen Schirrer also unites two different locations under one roof. Even though her faculty is located in Germersheim, the university itself is 100 kilometers away, in Mainz. For me, Germersheim is the ideal place to be. We offer academic programs in 13 languages. Students from more than 80 countries make our faculty very international. On this basis, I can empirically investigate cognitive translation processes as well as non-native language production and reception. Hansen Schirrer is a manager a top-class researcher and a mother of three. But most of all, she is a builder. She builds bridges between different areas, between her family and her career, between humanities and empirical studies, and above all, in her discipline. Because translation itself is an act of mediating between two different cultures.